So, we got our parts in from Summit. Came in this morning. Let's take a look in the box. Friends from Summit with a quick delivery here. Oh, I've already kind of peeked in the box. So, let's see what we got in the box here. Um, we got us a new starter. I'll hold the box right there. We got us a new starter. Uh, this is an OE replacement starter with it new carter fuel pump uh mechanical fuel pump we also have a solenoid switch and a new thermostat housing because well for whatever reason i didn't have one for this motor so let's look at what we got here we got our new ac delco starter out of the box um Pretty nice unit here. The only downside to an OEM starter is they are a little heavy. But again, we're not trying to build a race car per se. We may do some uh, we may do some street style stuff with this, some back of the track stuff uh, every once in a while. But this is mainly a street car. And, and if you don't need a high torque starter, there's no reason to spend $200 for a high torque starter when a $40 starter will do everything you need to do. Let's see what we have here. This is our water, our water outlet or our thermostat housing uh, here. I open the box one handed. This should be a stock, just a stock replacement uh, piece, cast piece. Exactly what we needed for this. Uh, I bought one, so when we got this car, then there was no motor for it. So we built everything from scratch from stuff I had laying around and I didn't have one of these. So I went to the local parts store and bought one. It was on the package and in the shelf. I didn't pay any attention. The only one they had was chrome. I didn't care about having chrome on it, but it's what they had. So I snatched it up. Get it home and take it out of the package and it, it was plastic, a plastic thermostat housing. I was not going to uh, have that. So we ordered this cast piece uh, again from our friends at Summit. This is made by, this is made by Four Seasons. I have no idea who they are, never heard of them before. But it came with a plug there and a gasket um, and this cast piece, which seems to be decent quality. I don't see any, anything with it. But again, this was like six bucks where that plastic chrome one that I wasted money on was like 20 bucks. What else we have here? This is, this is a Summit brand uh, solenoid switch. Um, just a generic, I didn't actually look up one for this car. I just ordered a universal solenoid switch uh and this was like 12 bucks so no big no big expense there where i did spend a little bit at and looked for a certain one i wanted a carter fuel pump when it comes to uh manual fuel pumps mechanical fuel pumps i believe carter makes as good a one as you can get and here it is a good good mechanical fuel pump again that's all this motor will ever need so there we have it all of this together starter uh solenoid the thermostat housing good quality fuel pump shipping everything together less than a hundred dollar bill i mean you can't you can't argue with our friends at summit Great quality and uh, great prices. So we finally got all of our parts on here. The starter's on, this header's on, alternator's on, thermostat housing on, solenoid on, wiring done. I'm gonna put on here, pour some braking oil in it, put this radiator in it, and ready to uh, See if she'll bark off. So here we are. Um, the I've lost track. Third day? 
fourth day, third day, third day, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But here we are. Uh, the cougar, kind of a mess. Uh, so we got some deliveries done. Got our favorite parts catalog here. Sum it out. And we are almost to the point of having a running driving car. We got fooled by a couple of things that I could not have foreseen. So, a lot of the parts, minus the motor, take away this, a lot of the parts were in the trunk of this car. Radiator was here. The fan, which I have laid somewhere, probably back in the trunk, was in the trunk of the car. I put the fan on, the spacing's right and everything, but what happens is the blades on the fan are so long, they actually come about halfway past this. So you can't put a hose on. So obviously the fan that was in the car is the wrong fan, but we're not expecting that. So now we've got a new electric fan on the way. Uh, 20, 2800 CFM, I believe. Uh, new fan on the way again from our friend at Summit. Um, we have the hoses, but I didn't put them on just because it's easier dealing with the fan. So we've got some wiring done. Uh, there's a couple little things that we're waiting on. One, breaking oil. I generally keep a bunch here, but I've went through so many, building so many motors lately that I'm actually out of breaking oil. So we've got good quality breaking oil on the way. And we got a new fan, electric fan on the way. And we have something else. Oh, we have a new ignition switch on the way. Um, uh, that's a that's a long story, but we have a new ignition switch on the way. So we are just a couple of parts away from this car coming back to life. Everything down the line is hooked up. We've got the brakes done. I even did set a battery in. Lights are all working. Uh, I mean, we literally are waiting on a fan. Uh, waiting on, what did I say? We're waiting on a fan, an ignition switch, braking oil and I need the battery cable that goes from the starter up to the solenoid, and that's it. We're waiting on like three things, and then this thing will bark to life again uh, for the first time in many years. So I hope you're enjoying this build series with this Cougar. Uh, there's other content on this channel. Uh, it's kind of random, but it's mostly all car related. Uh, if you are enjoying this, hit the subscribe button, share the video with somebody, give it a thumbs up. Uh, we'd like to grow this channel, uh, but just take a moment, hit the subscribe button, please. It would mean a lot to us and stay tuned because the very next video that is put up of the Cougar will be us running the engine, breaking the engine in, the Cougar moving on its own and all the payoff will be in the very next video. So, if you could take a minute, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and and share a video. I don't care what video it is. Share some video off the channel with somebody just to try to help grow the channel a little bit. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate it, and it helps us out. So stay tuned for the next video. Again, it'll be the payoff. It's the one a lot of people are waiting on. We get to hear the motor come to life. So till then, y'all have a great night. We'll see you later.